Yeah, well, it's, it's interesting. We're in an interesting time right now because the mid-list author is pretty much dying. It's very hard to keep an author on the mid-list because publishers want, if it's a debut novel, they want that debut novel to be successful right out the gate. They're not necessarily going to take a chance if that first book doesn't perform to do the second and the third and the fourth book. Um, so with women's fiction, um, yeah, you need fantastic female characters, strong female characters. That's, that's a given. But I think what's making certain projects like The Help or Water for Elephants or Time Traveler's Wife, one of my favorites, um, work is that it takes a kind of big concept. And, you know, we're always talking about big books. It takes a, a big concept like, uh, you know, how circuses um, in the 40s tr ha treated their animals, a vet in that, in that scenario. With The Help, it's uh, so, uh, the social relationship between women and their help. With Time Traveler's Wife, it takes a paranormal element and applies it to the women, the women's fiction genre. Um, so taking a big element that a wide audience is going to like, and a little bit, a, a little bit a nonfiction hook. You, if you were going to be talking about it to a group of readers, you could take that nonfiction hook of a circus, um, the social relationships between women and their help, um, time travel, and talk about that in a bigger way and blow that up in a bigger way. Um, so taking an element like that and applying it to the to a women's fiction um, uh, character setting can really take your book above the the quiet women's fiction title, the chiclet title. Um, you know, chiclet is very very hard to sell right now. It's it's not buying, and I think a lot of it is because you know people are looking for something that they can take into a book group and discuss for an hour versus taking it into a book group and discussing it for 10 minutes and then, you know, drinking your wine and having your great meal, that's, that's all great. But to be able, you know, love that, but to t be able to take a book and really discuss it for an hour, you need a larger over, you know, overarching theme um, to hold it together. And that's, that's what's working in women's fiction right now.